Hi, welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today we're doing another potato gun project. I've got the combustion chamber of my propane potato gun, and we're gonna make a barrel designed for shooting a grappling hook. Now with all these crummy boats around, inevitably I'll get stranded somewhere. And I need a way to shoot a line either to shore or to a nearby boat. And so a grappling hook gun would be ideal for that. Now I have this little folding grappling hook. So I might be able to just shoot that out of the potato gun. And if that doesn't work, then we'll try to make something else that uh, specifically fits in the potato cannon barrel. So this is just simple PVC 101, where we coat everything in our purple primer and then our PVC cement and stick it all together to make a potato gun barrel. There's our basic barrel, and I made the chamber in a previous video using this screw-in adapter so that I can put different barrels into the potato gun. Now I'm going to customize this barrel by putting a little screw eye in the bottom to attach our string or rope to. And then when we fire the grappling hook, the end of the rope will be attached to the barrel. Now our screw eye sticks through into the barrel, but that's okay. Because if we're shooting something like a potato out of this, that screw helps stop it from falling all the way into the chamber. So the idea with wrapping parachute cord around the barrel is that when this grappling hook takes off, cord will just unspool from the barrel like this. All right, our PVC cement is set up and I've gone ahead and attached the barrel and let's take this outside and see if we can grapple some stuff. So the hook only went a couple feet. I think the parachute cord did not unwrap fast enough. Let's try it with a little cord hanging off to start with. All right, so maybe this grappling hook is just a little too heavy. Let's try shooting just the hook without the cord attached to see if it goes anywhere. All right, that grappling hook is too heavy. We've got some random stuff from around the garage. Let's see if I can make something out of this. Basic idea of this is this is the deployed grappling hook mode. When I load it, these nails kind of fold down. It takes a little wiggling, but... Uh, so I load it in my spud gun barrel. It's supposed to kind of pop out like that. And we'll see how well that actually works. Okay, that time the string was definitely slowing things down. My grappling hook is deploying properly, though. All right, with the line laid out on the ground. So the system of laying the string out on the ground before firing the grappling hook does work. And that's what people used to do in the old days when they'd launch lines to ships with cannons or other things like this. But it's not quite as cool to have to lay out the string on the ground. It'd be a lot cooler if the string would deploy by itself. Now I could stuff it all down the barrel, but I'm pretty sure it would just get tangled and come out as a giant wad. Or I could try to build some kind of a canister or other deployment method that sits under the barrel and holds that string more loosely so that it doesn't have any tension unspooling off the barrel or off a spool or anything else that would hold it back. I'm also going to use this scrap of cloth as my wadding to make an airtight seal and push the grappling hook out of the barrel. I was using a scrap of paper towel and that just made a mess. It got shredded and I've been picking up scraps of paper towel all day. So I'm going to switch over to this cloth which is a little cleaner and more reusable. So 
so now I've got everything packaged up. I have my string loosely coiled in here with a little protective cap so that it doesn't just fall out. I've got my grappling hook ready to go and I've got my cloth wadding. So all I need to do to deploy a grappling hook is screw this assembly onto my potato cannon and fire away. So that shot worked perfectly. My little lid popped open, my coiled up string deployed out of the canister, and my spring-loaded grappling hook fully deployed. Uh, the only downside was I got the hook stuck in a tree for a few minutes, but uh, that's a small price to pay for scientific progress. I was almost ready to give up on this and just leave it at the initial tests, but I'm glad I came back and put this line canister on here because this works great. So now I have a potato gun grappling hook launcher, and I have no idea what to do with it. I guess I'll just have to wait until there's a boat drifting away, and I can fire a line out to it. If you have any other ideas for things I can attach to this potato gun, go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I will read them, and I will consider building more silly attachments for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you stick around and see what I come up with in the future. Thanks for watching.